As we're going through this modern gender war in the black community, I ask myself, are we as a community being accountable for our actions towards one another? Men, are we stepping up to be fathers? Are we staying in shape? Are we striving to become economically sound? Are we good protectors? Maybe we should have gun licenses and gun permits. Are we working on our mental health? Women, are you picking the right partners? Are you more judgmental on who enter your matrix? Will you step out of abusive relationships? Will you accept the consequences for your actions? Will you work on your mental health and tone down on your masculine attributes? The gray area being no loyalty on both sides and selfishness. In fighting in this progressive narrative is forcing us out of all ethnicities to be independent of each other. Is this the end of our race? Is this the end of our culture? No one's ready for this conversation, but women will hold a man accountable for literally every action that he's done, whether it was a fault, whether he cheated, whether he lied, everything on how much that man affected her. He, she will hold him accountable. But the second that a man tries to hold a woman accountable for them, their own actions, how toxic they were, how unhealthy that relationship was because of her she can never take accountability it's always it's always never her fault she's too prideful to not be able to put her her ego to the side to be like damn i tr this guy up i'm the reason why he doesn't trust other women i'm the reason why he can't even fully he can't trust himself because i gave him the impression that he can trust me that his heart is safe with me when in reality i had no good intentions towards him so now when the next woman who comes across him that does have good intentions towards him he can't even fully accept that this woman is good for him because of how f i had him don't get it twisted either i'm not sitting here saying that you know a guy is allowed to be fucked up and allowed to be emotionally unavailable to the next woman who does have good intentions towards him i'm just shedding light on the fact that there are toxic women out here that have fucked up a guy mentally and don't take accountability of how badly they've done it but twist will twist up the story to make it seem as if on their end that they didn't do anything wrong, that they weren't the problem, that they weren't toxic towards him, that they didn't sit there and completely shatter this man's heart into fucking pieces. Because like I said, when a man loves, when a guy really fucking gives a shit about you, he will take the fucking shirt off his back and give it to you. The same way he gave your heart, his heart to you, that's like giving his entire soul, his entire being to you. And he's he's trusting you with a lot of shit because when a guy trusts he gives it gives a hundred percent so when you fuck that trust up you might as well just put a gun to his fucking heart and pull a trigger because that's how badly it one of the hardest things that i had to do in my adult life is take accountability i had to accept my role in the process of heartbreak so i was once married and i destroyed that marriage i cheated on my spouse and he was not deserving of that I was selfish at that time. I was a matter of fact woman believed that everything that I said was right. I muted him. I did all of that. And I broke a man's spirit. I broke him down mentally. I broke him emotionally. And I did what most women do. I resorted to the victim role. He did this. If he would have never did this, I wouldn't have done this. Very unhealthy. I was selfish and don't get me wrong. He definitely tried to start over. He tried to restore the relationship. I couldn't. Didn't listen, had poor communication skills. My uh, resolution process was horrible. I did not know how to come to resolutions. I was really my spouse's enemy. I was my own enemy as well. I knew I couldn't trust myself. I knew I was gonna hurt him again. And that was hard to swallow. Cause I had to really tell myself that you ain't shit. All I knew at that time is do what is beneficial to me. I didn't understand what accountability was. I had to learn that accountability is living within integrity. Had I have lived within integrity, I would have never done that to my partner. I'm saying all of this to say that if you don't know how to be an accountable person, you're never going to get far. Your life is never going to be fulfilling and you're never going to be able to live at the fullest because you're always going to blame others until you sit back and say okay this is what i did this is what my part was in the process this is how i'm going to move forward 
Whatever actions you place have consequences, whether good or bad. Who I am now is a result of who I was back then. My consequences, my accountability molded me into the woman that I am now. And once you start learning how important accountability is, I guarantee you, you will see life completely different. Get out of the victim mindset. Don't be a prisoner to yourself. Women have a hard time taking responsibility. We have a hard time being shown ourselves. Oh, if I could like that a million times, I would. I agree with everything she said. And I really hate the narrative that women don't know how to take accountability, but let's just be honest, they don't. Okay, they don't. And it's a sad truth because what she said is real. Like it hurts when you hear that your person is telling you that you're doing something that they don't like or you're doing something that made them unhappy. For some strange reason, women really built in their head that they're doing everything humanly possible to make you happy when they also do the bare fucking minimum. You think that giving him punani all the time is enough. You think that cooking a meal is enough. It's not. You have to listen to this man. And then when this man open up, you call him names or you, you look down on him because he has feelings. When you ask him to be more emotional, when you ask him to be more open with you, you can't do that. Like You can't do that. Women are not perfect. Far from it. And that's literally what communicating with each other means. You have to build each other up. You have to be open to them. And women have that fucking issue. And it drives me fucking crazy because I really believe in communication. I really do. And I'm not going to sit up here and say that it hasn't been a time or two where I felt shameful for making my person unhappy by doing some shit I didn't even know I was doing. But when they told me, yeah, it hurt like fuck. Because I was just like, damn, I didn't even know. Like... I thought I was doing everything that I could, and that's okay that you did, but when they come to you, don't get offensive. And that's really what women do. They get offensive, and they come at you like, oh, how dare you tell me that I'm doing this and a third. Because you built up in your mind that you're doing the perfect thing, that doesn't mean that that's what's really going on. That's not your, that's not his reality. And you have to be open to listening to him. And communication is key. Communication is key. Like, we got to do better. We have to do better. You can't keep blaming shit on men and what they doing. Yeah, they fucked up. Okay? Men got their own fucking issues. But we have our issues too. So, let's fix them. And stop blaming each other. I... Somebody got to say it. And I'll be the bitch to say it. Fellas, y'all ain't gonna like this one with your booty head ass. But y'all never seem to do when I got some shit to say about y'all. Which further proves the point that I'm about to make. Men need to start taking accountability. Y'all, yeah, females need to take accountability. Y'all booty head ass niggas need to fucking take accountability. Accountability for the bitches you choose to stick your dick in. Accountability for your own motherfucking happiness. You need to start appreciating your goddamn self. Then others would appreciate you. But you're not accountable for that, are you? It's easy to blame everybody around you why you ain't successful. But uh, you don't take accountability for that either. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's the females what? He don't appreciate me. You don't appreciate you. Only dogs, women, and kids love unconditionally. Nigga, love yourself unconditionally. You know what? You're not accountable for that. You're not accountable for the lies you tell. You're not accountable for nothing. You're just blaming on a woman. But don't shoot the messenger, nigga. I'm just going to be very blunt about this. Um, and and I'm, I'm talking to the men. <clears throat> and I'm not going to beg. Um, I'm just going to talk to the men and just say it like it is because we need straight talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men need to grow up, yep. firstly, and men need to stop being cowards, Come on. secondly. Mm -hmm. You see a woman walking down the street minding her business. You approach her. Mm -hmm. You say everything that you know she would like to hear. Mm -hmm. You get her defenses down. Once her defenses are lowered, you then go in there, take what you want, and then you leave. You... After doing so, you leave and repeat the cycle elsewhere. You do it again, you do it again, you do it again, you do it again. You've scarred a whole bunch of women. Mm -hmm. the, the men who follow you now have to do the work uh -huh. to help heal these women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And half the time, these women end up destroying these men because they don't know how to believe that they're worthy of love because yeah. of what you've done to them. Mm -hmm. The children that, that they bear have to live with the scars that you have. Um, um, inflicted on these women. Uh -huh. There is there's a domino effect here. Mm. The other thing a lot of guys don't realize in, in practicing this behavior is that there's, there's a karmic consequence to yep. this. You don't get away with it. Mm. 
you never get away with it. So you will find many guys who are out here playing these games. At some point, decide I'm ready to s settle down. Uh -huh. I'm ready to do the right thing. And what what do they want? And what do they want? They, they want, want a love? woman with no blemishes, with, with, no blemishes. with no past issues, with uh -huh. no baggage, with no troubles, with no with no issues from their past relationship. And even if you get that woman. Because of who you are mm. and because you have, you know, um, triggered a set of consequences, mm -hmm. she might end up hurting you even worse than you hurt the other people mm -hmm. because who you are is teaching her how to treat you. Mm. Or that karmic, that karmic energy the karmic follows thing. your child. Mm. Or it follows your child. Mm. And, and we live in this YOLO generation mm. where everyone's saying you only live once. Well, you may only live once, but the consequences of your actions ripple on through time. Yeah. Mm. So, so what kind of legacy do you really want to leave? Because we call it you know, being, you know, being young men, sowing wild oats and all that mm. kind of nonsense. Mm. But those oats grow. Mm. Yeah. And what do they grow? And what do they grow into? They grow, they grow into, the repercussions are bad because for all the men you've left to fix your messes, mm -hmm. those men get broken. Mm. And when these men are broken, they, they go, go and they break more people. So it's a vicious cycle. Vicious of people cycle. Hurt, people. hurt people, hurting people, hurt people. right? Mm. So like you were saying, mm. it's not a plea. Mm. Stop being cowards. Mm. Men just need to stop being cowards because mm. we, know, we know women love. We know women it's love. Our do, not take, yeah. do not take advantage of that. Do not take advantage of that. Like I'm saying, if you just want to mess around, if you just want to sleep with a woman, say it from the gate that mm. you want to sleep with a woman. There is no shortage of women that just want to sleep around. Do that. Yeah. Yes, which is there also is no shortage. Yeah. Women enjoy sex more than men do. Hey, hey. Yeah. Come on. So yeah. please, if from, from the gate you just want to, you know, sow your royal oats, don't mm. lie. Mm. The whole gender war is just the blame game. I mean, even if we came to solutions, men, would you still get married knowing family court needs reform? Would you take on a single mother knowing the return on your investment of time, energy and resources would be very minimal? Damn, had to bring my mama into it. Would you put trust in any woman knowing she could monkey branch at any time the relationship ends? There's so much damage control here. And though we want traditional affairs it's just not reasonable society has become like the times of noah where the sons of god saw the daughters of men and had sex with as many of them as they wanted and though i understand the passport bros feminism is worldwide please do not be fooled do your research in these times being a whore and a whoremonger is all that you get Unless you decide on monk mode and find the happiness within yourself. So, yes, I can be accountable and so can you. But that's nowhere close to solving the societal problem.